Hey guys, here we are back at another episode of Healthy Hustle. What we wanted to dive into today, and I've asked my good friend, Michelle, she's also my copywriter and she's my right hand to come and have this amazing conversation. Because if you are running a Black Friday special, this episode is going to be for you. Maybe you haven't even thought about it. Maybe you're listening to this podcast and saying, oh my God, in a month, I could be launching this. Well, that's why we're covering this in October to make sure that you are guaranteed for success in November. All right, Michelle, let's just dive right into this. You've seen, you've done five-figure launches, six-figure launches, I mean, multiple six, et cetera. What is the beauty of a Black Friday special? <laughs> I think, yeah, the best part is that people are actually looking for yeah, you know, like all throughout the year, aside from like the holiday season, people aren't necessarily looking for certain things. You know, it's like we have to kind of push it like, oh, I have a special, I have a special going on. But it's like the one time of year that people will literally wait outside of a store for four hours in a line to get a good well, deal. And I think you brought up such a great thing because I always say some of the best times to run your offers are when people expect it like Columbus Day and yeah. Labor Day and Memorial Day and then of course Black Friday and Cyber Monday are right up there and Absolutely. I think this is hands down like the biggest of the year oh yeah yeah and I think what's great about it too is that now it's become like a weekend you know where it used to just be like oh what are the black friday specials and then I, I was just, it wasn't that long ago maybe a decade or something they were like oh we got cyber monday and I was like they just extended the whole weekend <laughs> you know which is great because I think it's like a weekend of fun shopping and also a great time to really you know, point out what people really need and give it to them either with a bonus or a discount or a combo of some, you know, of both, but something that they're looking for that's been on their wish list for a long time. And now they're just looking to either be able to afford it or to get something extra with that purchase. Well, and I think people are always looking for a deal when it comes to this time of the year. And something yeah. that you and I were talking about right before we were recording was that you want to price that low cost offer or that mm -hmm. offer that you're giving. And you want to kind of increase the price before you go and add your discount to that because Absolutely. you don't want to be in a break-even situation. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that might be like a really common mistake that coaches make sometimes is like, oh, they have their set prices and then they add a discount to it. And then they're barely making like a profit there. But I mean, in just the marketing world in general, they always upsell the price before they discount it. It's, it's what it is, you know? Um, and I think that's really important to at least do, you know, if you're going to offer a 25% discount, then you should really increase the base price by 25%, right. knock it down. And then that's the, you're still, you're breaking even, but it's just positioned in the marketing world differently. And, and I know that might feel weird for a lot of people who don't like to sell or be salesy, but right. it's every business does this, <laughs> like <Yeah>. every business. <laughs> so well, I mean, what would you say? I mean, when I think of different low cost, different types of offers that we can offer, what are some that come to your head? Shorter term ones, I think for like the Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So like five day, 10 day, 14 day, 21 day, even a 30 day, I think could really yeah. work. Um, short commitment, something that's like, oh yeah, I can do that in like 30 days or less. And right. I'm going to be able to get this exact result of whatever it is, um, you know, reducing bloat or, or weight or weight gain by X amount or of pounds. Issues or hormones. Yeah, something. Yeah. Um, and then offering some additional bonuses. I honestly think of private, my favorite in the coaching industry is like, a one-to-one -one short call combined with it because a I think minute, like a yeah. 20 minute call because it can actually be turned into also another sales opportunity to continue on what do they really need and then what's that next step because they only bought the first step so yeah. it's, it's still an opportunity to go deeper create a real personal connection and perhaps enroll them into something you know a little bit longer and do you see most offers at this time, are they self-paced? Is that what coaches should be thinking about doing a self-paced offer? 
I think it's easier. Um, I would say self-paced, definitely without a doubt. Any courses, without a doubt. Um, uh, anything like that, do it yourself. But also, um, you know, if you are running a group, let's say that is very, is starting very quickly, you know, like right after that Black Friday, Cyber Monday, something they can enroll right into and right. start like within a week, you know, no, no more than that. I and think it would not then go past the holidays. We're really exactly. thinking about that time commitment. I mean, yeah. when I think of programs, um, I think of a 30 day program, like our 30 day gut fix, that would be amazing for the gut. I think of the stress course that would be amazing as a low cost offer. Yeah. Or I think of the self love course, great as like a low cost offer, like things. And then I think, of course, of weight loss. You could mm -hmm. have the 30 day metabolism program, or you could sell the five day perimenopause plan or the mastering menopause five day plan. When I think of things that are just like you said, going to give somebody these instant wins, I think yeah. of those kind of programs. Yeah. And if you're, and if you're not doing like a group program or something like that, you could still do like access to a group masterclass and then you give the plan after. So it's like a bundle that they're accessing. And then you've still created that personal connection by being with them, whether it was an hour or two hour masterclass or something like that. Right. And there's a lot of freebie bundles and workshop bundles on the site, plus short-term plans that can be paired with that, that they can get as a bonus. So, I mean, yeah. when they're open, well, like, when they're really a yeah. really great one would be pairing. If you took a workshop, did that as a masterclass. Like I think of, um, I think of like why gut matters, like that one signature workshop that you're doing, and then you get the gut protocol. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like something that would make it a no brainer for that person to opt in. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing too, um, is to do two things. Don't just have like the urgency of like times running out the send cyber Monday or black Friday at X time, but also have scarcity in there and limit the spots, especially if you're doing, um, something group related, whether it's a masterclass or a program, um, I would definitely limit that. And you could even still do it and put that on a course, you know, only for the first 20, only for the first 25 or, you know, 10 right. spots or whatever it is. And, and also just limit it as well. So that creates like that FOMO fear of missing out yep. plus the urgency of, I have to do it. It's like now or never. And I don't want to miss this. Yeah. I mean, would you say that most of these programs that people are looking at, um, do you think around that time, like we're focusing a lot on weight or do you think that it's general like gut issues, hormone issues? Yeah. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is weight loss. Cause I think everyone's new year's resolution most often is I want to lose at least X amount of pounds. <laughs> My body. <laughs> yeah. I think that's like the biggest thing. Um, and I, I also think that people are also focused a little bit more on their health starting the new year, whether they want to quit smoking or quit eating junk food or, you know, limit or, you know, entirely or reduce alcohol. Like they're right. looking to get back on track, you know, get rid of fast food, eat healthy. So I think all of it can play a role. You just have to know one, your ideal client two know their pain points and three, make sure that that's all in your messaging and that your offer is exactly what they, what they're looking for. Well, and let's even talk about dates for emails, because of course you're going to have your, you're going to have your black Friday and cyber Monday email sequence. Would you say doing at 72 hours, 48, 24, 12, six, and two. Yes. Yes. And I also think it's really hours. Good. Those are the hour. Count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also think it's good to do like teasers, um, and just kind of like, let them know like what you're working on and that to stay tuned, this is going to so be like, wrong. maybe on the Monday before Thanksgiving, sending out. Yeah. Saying coming, like stay tuned. Yeah. I mean, and all the stores do it. Yeah. A lot of even like e-commerce stores will, uh, drip out their sales or they will right. give a preview of like, uh, let's say one thing and then keep your eye on the email that's coming to you on Friday or even Thursday 
at midnight, <laughs> you know, like a lot of times the people are literally on their phone looking for, for sales. So, you know, um, which is also a great time right now to, to focus on list building and, and yeah. start emailing your list now. So they start opening your emails. And I think also in regards to that as well, I think, I think really honing in to what you're going to offer, how you're going to price it, how you're going to tease it out. You can even start marketing that two weeks before, start mm -hmm. teasing it out before Black Friday, like, oh, look what's coming, sneak peeks, behind the scenes, yeah. doing a bunch of different kind of social media to, to get the person excited. Yeah, I think, and, and their eyes are just open, <laughs> you know, they're listening, they're looking, they're watching and they're waiting. And it's, it's just the perfect time to have those conversations and to put the offer out there. Like there's going to be a lot of offers out there that they're going to see. So you really have to position your messaging and your copy to really just hit on like, what do they want and how are they feeling right now and how yeah. you have the solution to help them. And I think it's a great time to do your market research and start pulling what people want, but yeah. also look at what has been proven in your own business and see if mm -hmm. you do have something that you've already created. And if you haven't, of course, you need to stop right now and then go to our yeah. site. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. Be running you out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's so much and no matter what your niche is, there's always an offer available on the website because whether it's a workshop bundle or, you know, a, which is a masterclass, Maybe it's like workshop. three months of recipes, mm -hmm. like three months yeah. of recipes. See, I'm one, I really love having those programs, like the program that can be a self-paced offer, but I also love the workshop bundled with a few additional bonuses. And so yeah giving it really this bundle yeah which I think always works best and it's it's really like low committal because I think what's really nice about that is that with a like a with a workshop is that you're you still you're still giving the coaching whether it's like two hours or something but it's only two hours of your time and then all of the rest is paired like that's all done so yeah. if they go and they purchase you know health coaches right now like a meal plan or you know recipes or something like that that's all done. And then the rest is up to them. And then, then that's when you still reach out to them and, you know, like you can do your check-ins with them, like still have that relationship. Um, don't lose sight of that follow-up. Make sure that it's like, Hey, how's it going? I know you got this. Or oh. You could even do like boxer support for one week. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's really awesome. just up leveling kind of that offer and making it a no brainer. Yeah, kind of giving them a taste of what it's like to have a health coach um, to support them so that they know what that experience is like, and then they will want to continue into something more of a deeper health coach client relationship. Have you ever seen somebody package their one on one package their program and give a side? Yeah. Yeah. And what I've seen is like buy X amount of sessions up front, and then you get X amount of sessions either at half cost or no cost. Um, so you're, what you're really doing is like, usually let's say if you have a package of six, you're adding two or something right. like that, right. you know, um, and those that works as well. Uh, the only thing that that might be a little difficult with is you might want to pre-screen people to make sure that it's a good fit. So they might be, um, like they can secure their spot by filling out an application and they could make the purchase, but you know, you might want to have a clause or something there that if it's not the right fit, then, you know, something, um, but that's the, that's the only Make thing sure you have your contract. I actually just yeah. interviewed a woman yesterday who is a lawyer, um, for the podcast. And she was talking all about these contracts and she said, you know, make sure that when you're doing a group or you're working with somebody one-on-one -on -one, that you have this in your contract, to make it very simple. And that yeah. if you're doing a group program, you can all, always have at the checkout, like one of those, I acknowledge and I've read the following contract. Exactly. And you, what you can do too, also just to minimize that a bit is to give that type of a special to past clients. So you already know that you've worked with them and maybe they just had, you know, they, they yeah. just fallen off their goals or whatever it is, but you can reach back out to them, offer them that deal and, or email them only. Right. Um, and then that would secure the deal and you've already worked with them. So you already know what it's like. Right. And I think, I mean, I would say 
for that coach who's never done this before, what are some of the things that they need to look out for? Yeah, keep it as simple as possible. <laughs> I think the, the worst thing that I've seen is, um, you know, like coaches sometimes get in their head, like they have to create something themselves, like, oh, you can't pull out something you have or, or they just think, oh, I'm going to try to launch this whole program like at this exact time but keep it simple for yourself. Like there, people will buy something self-paced. They will buy something that's short-term that doesn't require all of you as a coach since it's discounted. Um, so can look at it through the lens of it's the first step for them. And then you're going to do a follow-up session most likely with, with everyone. And then you enroll them at a full price into that next phase. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I think that's such a great, beautiful flow. Um, what would you say for the coach who is like completely, they're not overwhelmed by doing this, but they're like scared of sound sounding salesy. Yeah, I know. I hear this a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. And honestly, I had to work through some stuff too, like transitioning from, you know, writing certain types of copy, like more website copy, and then going like full-blown sales copy and advertising and things like that. And that was a difficult transition for me. And, and I had to really, you know, look at it through your, it's a service that you're providing that's life-changing. Um, so, which is also for me, like, even as like a sales copywriter, I personally don't work with people that I don't believe in what they're doing because then I'd think about it. So you've got to believe in what you're doing, no matter what, as a coach. And if you know that what you're doing is saving their life, then what you're really doing is, is saving a person. It's not really selling, you know, cause they're going to buy something anyway. Um, yeah. and if they're not buying something healthy, <laughs> if they're not buying from you, they're going to be buying from somebody else. Yeah. And that's the biggie. Yeah. And honestly, it could be something that could be really harmful. What if they're going and buying diet pills to lose weight instead, or they're going and, you know, tr- just, uh, you know, uh, spending six yeah. months. Yeah. In books, nonstop trying to do it themselves with zero support, you know, for their gut or their hormone or, you know, something like that. So I think it's really important to break through the mindset of like sales is yeah. icky because uh, you're selling something that's life-saving. It's well, really, I think, I think for me, I remember my big fear when I did a full email sequence, like I was like, oh my God, I don't want to be emailing, like just to recap on the emails that you can do a countdown to, of course, 72 hours would be your first email. Then you have a 48 hour, then you have a 24, then you have a 12 hour, a six hour and a two hour. Mm-hmm. And I was petrified to do that, but you know what? It's like, People need that reminder, just like a child needs to see a certain food put in front of them so many exactly. times. Mm-hmm. We need to see the same thing, that repetition, yeah. to get somebody off the fence, especially. Exactly. And it's also it, just the way email inboxes work. There's so much pouring into their emails already. That you have to position yourself at the top of their inbox as often as you can during that window, because then you'll just get lost, you know, hundred something emails, I think on average are being delivered to every inbox every day. So, you know, whether if you're sending six, (laughs) you're still competing, you know, um, in them in a 24 hour window or 72 hour window, you're competing with a lot of other emails. So, you know, be sure to always try to show up in the top of their inbox. And I think that goes back to nailing down also like, make sure you're in their inbox, make sure that you're nurturing your list, Mm -hmm. newsletters, videos, sending to your list, like get them to feel nourished before you go into a sale. Yeah. I think, think, yeah, right now is a great prime time to give something away, you know, whether it's like a little recipe series, you know, and you're pairing a two minute video with a recipe, like once a week, something just to, for them to look forward to. And then they'll be like ready to, they'll be in the habitual pattern of opening your emails and then they'll be guaranteed to open it come Black Friday special. And I love that idea that you had about doing a preview email. Can you just Mm -hmm. go a little more into detail what that preview email would be? Yeah, I think the cool thing about preview emails is like you can, you don't have to drip out the whole special. So you don't even have to let them know what the discount actually is, but you can just say it's like your biggest discount ever. Um, It's, you know, you've never done a special like this. 
uh, you can drip out um, maybe one of the bonuses, you know, if you're going to be, and then stay tuned for bonus two and three or something like that, you know, and- Curiosity and can, kills the cat. Make sure yeah, that first it should time. be a teaser, not like the whole shebang with no link to buy. It should really be a teaser that they have to come back to and figure out what, you know, what is it going to cost me and where's the link to get it? Um, so you don't want to tell the whole thing in the teaser. Would you suggest doing a preview email, like a sneak peek? Of I do love sneak peeks and I do love videos. Um, so I would just, but I wouldn't tease out like the bonus in that. I, that should be the core, like whatever you're going to offer. Like, let's say, for example, it's a 21 day clean eating program. You can totally do like a video on, you know, some of the recipes or, you know, what it looks like and you're, you're finalizing it before Friday sort of thing. And also use that opportunity to share some wins. So like if you've had any past clients, you know, start with that. Like, oh, I'm so excited. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm finalizing these new recipes in my last 21 day program, you know, um, Sarah or, you know, someone else lost X amount of weight, you right. know, or fix their gut issues, reduce bloating, you know, just, just drip it out a little bit to provide proof and then say, you know, stay tuned. Cause on black Friday, like you're going to be able to save like the biggest discount ever and get like three incredible bonuses to help you healthy for X amount of time, you know, love that. Um, and really, if they should be, if, if they're thinking about list building right now, it's really to put out like a signature freebie right now, get people yeah. to get, get people on your list, make sure that you're nurturing them for the people that are already on your list. So yeah. that in this sale time, because then we go into my favorite time, which is January when everyone loves starting a program. I feel like December is great for like those seven day quick wins. It's mm -hmm. like November is great for that. December is great for that. Um, I mean, like we said, in November, you could definitely do a 30 day program self-paced with some videos to help that person yeah. get the program and a 20 minute discovery call. Yeah. To be able yeah. to pair it. Yeah, I think that would be great. I think like, just get the offer out there. Don't be afraid to do it. <laughs> you know, um, jump on in because I guarantee that if you're not putting your offer out there, you're probably gonna be spending the time shopping other people's offers because <laughs> everyone is just shopping right now. So, you know, position it and put it out there and have everything scheduled. Don't be too attached to the end result. And just know like right now, actually, if you were to put a signature freebie out as a health coach, um, if you bought one of the done for you follow-up sequences uh, that are nurturing, you have enough time right now to throw that freebie out there and have the nurture sequence yeah. automate. So you don't really have to do anything. Um, yeah. Then you just put the, the Black Friday promo out. Yeah. And I was even thinking for so many of our programs that have the email sequences, mm -hmm. you could easily go in there and make some very simple edits to say Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Yeah. Yeah, that's true too. Because I was thinking if somebody didn't have those that they just have done, or maybe you don't have the money to hire a copywriter. That's mm -hmm. why I always say when coaches are like, oh my God, that's so much money. I say to them, please go and price out somebody to do a sales page or a six email marketing sequence. Yeah. 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 And honestly, before investing, like I always say this, <laughs> even to people before investing, before I even work with a client as a copywriter, they should be making a decent amount of profit before investing in that. I think it's really important. Um, I would definitely say, make sure you have your offer ready to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and start tripping that out. Do you think we've left anything out? No, I think, um, I think it's prime time. Like right now is the time to go and, and get the ideas together. Don't spend too much time on it. Um, and if nail you down the bonuses, yeah, nail down the bonuses, nail down when you're doing your preview email. Yep. Nail down your six emails for day um, timers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you're missing anything, you don't have something, then definitely shop the site for sure. Um, all right. Well, I think that rounds up pretty much this episode. I think for any, for any of you who are sitting there and maybe this is your first time, just like Michelle said, don't overthink it. 
Think about your bonuses. Think about what you're offering. Think about those extra no-brainer things like adding Boxer or mm -hmm. adding a 20-minute strategy session to each, which can be a great upsell to your higher ticket coaching to that next step with people. And guys, make sure you believe in yourself. I wanted to just bring that up that Michelle was saying, you have to work on that mindset. You're not being salesy. This is what you're meant to do. This is your why. This is who you're meant to serve. So just go out there and serve and have a great Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Absolutely. All right, guys, we will see you later. If you have any questions, always let us know. But with that being said, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.